The prison at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, known as Gitmo, has been called the most expensive prison on earth. Last year, taxpayers through Congress gave $139 million to operate Gitmo and house 170 detainees in the war on terror. That's a lot of money, and now a U.S. senator wants to move the detainees stateside, and some could be moved here to Chesapeake. Andy Fox joins us in the newsroom with what all that means. Andy? Yeah, Alvita and Tom, it comes to $800,000 a year per prisoner. U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein from California released this report from the Government Accountability Office. Her argument is, well, we need to cut $1.5 trillion by Christmas, so let's start by closing down Gitmo and moving the terrorist prisoners to Briggs like the one in Chesapeake. The Defense Authorization Act prohibits the Gitmo terrorist detainees from coming to U.S. soil. And that act was originally sponsored by Congressman Randy Forbes from Chesapeake. If we bring those terrorists on U.S. soil, they pick up additional constitutional protections that they don't have in Guantanamo Bay. And we don't want to allow that to take place. Congressman Forbes pays close attention to this issue because Senator Feinstein in the GAO's report targets six brigs in America to put the terrorists, including the Naval Consolidated Brig located on this base in Chesapeake. Chopper 10 shows the complex located in rural Chesapeake. The report says the Chesapeake Brig is only 20% occupied and you could technically bring all 170 detainees to Chesapeake. This is what the brig looks like inside. Steve Knapp lives near the base and the brig. No, I don't really have any concerns with it. Um, I feel that that place is secure enough uh, where I don't really think it'd ever be an issue. I'm glad that that particular constituent might say that, but it would be a different situation if you get the eyes of the world focused on where you're bringing those terrorists. Forbes fears when terrorists find out where their brothers are being kept, that would create terrible risk. You place a target on neighborhoods, on a community, on a city, because um, these terrorists around the world start saying, hey, we can get access to that, we can make a statement there. I just feel it's secure across the street. Uh, like I said, they have the brig, I don't even know where it is across the street. I can't see it. Um, I'm not really sure where it is. But now in Washington, keeping the terrorists at Gitmo seems to be the one issue Democrats and Republicans actually agree on. When it comes to terrorism, let there not be any light between Republicans and Democrats. We all agree we should keep these prisoners in Guantanamo Bay. Now, one attractive element of the Chesapeake Brig is it is already segregated housing units. So the detainees would not actually be mingling with other detainees. The chances of this actually happening? Well, slim. Why? Well, it's illegal, as you heard. And you also heard Congressman Forbes say it's the one issue in this cantankerous political season, the one issue Democrats and Republicans actually agree on, keep the terrorists in Gitmo. Tom, back to you. All right, Andy Fox reporting from the newsroom.